Sourcing wholesale products to sell on Amazon FBA is one of the hardest things you can do. Fortunately for you guys who have clicked on today's video, I'm gonna go through my step-by-step -step process which makes it super easy to find wholesale products that you can sell on Amazon FBA. Okay, so first things first is to hop onto a computer and head to Profitable. So if you open Google and just search in Profitable, the first link that you'll go to is Profitable. Now essentially what it is, is a, it's an Amazon FBA platform which allows you to do a lot of things on Amazon FBA like sourcing products, finding deal sheets, finding how much a product is selling per month, what sort of profit you can expect to achieve, what sort of competitors are on that product and how much competition you have. So it, you can use it for a load of things but I mainly use it for my wholesale sourcing. So once you come to the website, you're obviously gonna to have to either log in or register. Just as a side note though, if you do wanna try this out, it's seven days for free trial. So obviously if you do enjoy it after the seven days, you're more than welcome to sign up to their monthly membership or there's an annual package, which is what I prefer to do just because it makes it a little bit cheaper. Now, once you come onto Profital, the next thing is to go onto this wholesale scanner. So once you click that, it will open up the wholesale scanner screen. The next step is you're going to want to find a wholesaler that you know is in your country. It just makes things a lot easier. Now this is a wholesaler of cosmetics that I've used in the past and I know it's a reliable source. The website doesn't look great, but it's a wholesaler at the end of the day. They're not gonna to be too worried about their website. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is once you've found your wholesaler, all you want to do is download their price list. Now, on this website, it's very easy because there's a button literally right there and it downloads the price list. And it's also in the recommended format that you need it for this wholesale scanner on Profital, which is an Excel CSV. I'll leave a link in the description to Profital's own explanation of how to use the wholesale scanner but essentially you need to just set up that csv file so that it's in a format that it can easily read it it's really simple to do and the video from profitable themselves is very very straightforward to follow what essentially you need to do is find the price list on the wholesaler's website if you can't find it on the wholesaler's website directly you can always just reach out, either call them up or email them and they will happily give you a product and price list. And obviously that is then what you use into the wholesale scanner. So once you've got your wholesaler price list in the CSV format that you need it in, the next step is obviously just to drag and drop into the profitable wholesale scanner. The next step is really, really simple. On every single price list, there should be a barcode number. Drag that into the EAP and UPC number. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The title, which is the product name, goes to item name. And then the last thing is the unit price, which obviously goes into cost. So that is then filtered like that. And then the next best thing to do is if you do have any issues, say for example, some of the barcodes have not been entered correctly or whatnot, you can always click that button, remove rows with issues. It then says rows to import 1,560. So it's gonna analyze 1,560 products from that wholesaler in literally minutes, it's ridiculous. So the next step to do is press the start wholesale scan. So once that's done, it's gonna take you to this screen. So job details of basically what scanner you've used, but then you need to click import jobs. If you click on import jobs, it will then start processing all of those products that it's trying to search through on that wholesale list. Now, some of these ones that you can see here, these are ones that I've been using in the past but the one that we're looking at today is this top line. So once you've started the wholesale scan process, you then click view scan, and then click view process products. So what you can see on screen now is all of the products from the wholesale scanner results. Once it's processed, obviously it's gonna take some time to process all of them, but generally speaking, you can get to work with your analysis straight away. So what I'm gonna do now is click into this one, for example, Bourgeois Bro Pomard Eyebrow Crayon Pencil or something. It even gives you the Amazon FBA link so you can clearly see the products in the ASIN. Uh, this one is selling at 97 times per month. You can buy it for £1.50. You can sell it for £4.99. Let's have a look here. So you can make a profit of £1.64. 
So let's go back to this and have a look what it was saying. So yeah, £1.50, £4.49 fees and only making 94p, which is a 63% return on investment. So sorry guys, my camera just died there, but essentially what I was saying was when you click on the product, say for example this one, it would have been nice if you could have clicked on this link here and then it would have taken you to the product on the wholesaler's website. However, it doesn't quite work like that, unfortunately. However, there is a workaround obviously to it. You just have to look at some of the details of the product. So for example, I'm just gonna take in this chitane or whatever it is. Go to your wholesaler's price list and then just pop in control F and then search that name of it. There we go, we found it. It's this one here and with this supplier, they do actually give you a website link on their price list, which is excellent because literally just click it and boom, there it is. And we can already tell this is definitely the right product. That's something also to make sure that you do, is just make sure that this is the correct product. So it's the Bourgeois Bro, Pro Pomade or something eyebrow crayon pencil, number two, Chitane or whatever it is. Um, and have a look, it's 3.25 gram on uh, Amazon. Let's just have a look if it mentions anything about pack size or anything. Um, I can't actually see uh, if this is the right one. Um, can we view any more? Uh, a little bit difficult, but from the project images, it does look exactly the same. Um, so I, I think this one's worth the punt. Um, so you can see here it's £1.25. Um, however, on my price list, I actually factored in VAT because with most wholesalers, they will only charge you the net and not the VAT. However, I myself am not VAT registered because I haven't got to that point where I need to be. Um, so I actually have to pay for VAT on products. So this would actually be 1.25 times by 1.2 to give you the complete cost of that product. So it is going to be £1.50. So again, you can come back and you can use all your other product analysis, which I use Seller Ramp as well as Profital, um, and you can see exactly how, how many times it's selling. So it's 97 units per month. You can sell it for five pounds. It costs one pound 50, so you make one pound 64 pounds and 110% ROI, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm ungated in this product. And yes, there is quite a few sellers. I reckon you could sell at least 50 of these on this listing and so if you're selling 50 units of this product oops, you can expect to make 82 pounds profit from one product on this wholesale lead this just goes to show you that this method of using profitable and the wholesale scanner of finding profitable products through wholesalers is absolutely game-changing there are a couple of bugs in this though unfortunately for example, if you go to estimated sales and you search the highest amount of selling products, as you can see, for example, this one, if it's selling between 856 units to 1,371, if I click on the actual product, we can see it's only selling 163 times per month. So sometimes it can be a little bit hit and miss in terms of the estimated sales, but it is just something to bear in mind. I have found that it only seems to be these top ones that have any issues. However, the ones that are selling around about 50 all the way up to 500 per month, they are pretty accurate. So for example, let's go on this one. Let's see if this one works. This one was saying it was selling around about 400, was that? 474 to 830. Let's have a look how much it's selling on Selleramp. There you go, 400 on Selleramp. So you can see that this prof, this is clearly a high selling product and one you can expect to achieve decent amount of profit. But obviously with a higher selling product, normally there is bigger competition on those products. I just hope that's shown you exactly how to use it and how easy it is to use. So there you have it guys, that is exactly how I source my Amazon FBA wholesale products using the Profitool wholesale scanner. If you do have any questions about how to use the scanner or Profitool in general, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you're looking for the links for Profitool, I'll leave a link in the description as well, so go check that out. There is a seven day free trial, so you can get to grips with it, and obviously if you do enjoy it, you're more than welcome to sign up, and I always recommend going for the annual subscription because it is a little bit cheaper. But if you did enjoy the video, guys, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Boss ass bitch.